set him off. And we start with breaking news on the arrest of the pink cat lady, a local mother of eight charged in the attack on the U.S. Capitol. We just got this new mugshot of her. In the last two hours, that woman, Rachel Powell, was in court. And tonight, we're trying to answer this question. How did a mother of eight wind up in the middle of that attack, shouting through a bullhorn and ramming her way into the U.S. Capitol? Take a look at this. We got our hands on Powell's court documents, and they include photos of her in action during the attack last month. And we were there yesterday when FBI agents searched a Mercer County home in connection with her case. Chopper 11 was overhead. Law enforcement used Powell's phone number to track her movements in Washington on January 6th. And that is the same phone number Channel 11's Amy Marsinkwitz called to speak with her yesterday. Powell turned herself in not long after that call and new tonight at 5. Amy has an update on what she's saying and behind bars. She's in custody here at the Butler County Prison. Sources have told me she is very upset that she has to wear a mask inside. Channel 11, the first to bring you the breaking details. Rachel Powell, a mother of eight, wanted by the FBI, taken into custody early Friday morning. Officials say she turned herself in at an FBI satellite center in Newcastle. She's made national news after her pink hat was seen on various viral videos during the riot at the Capitol. Chopper 11 was overhead as the FBI raided her Mercer County home Thursday looking for her. I spoke to her shortly after after that raid when she answered her cell phone. Now she wouldn't answer my questions about where she was or who she was with. Hours later, she turned herself in. Powell hired a Philadelphia lawyer to represent her at her initial appearance late this afternoon. Michael Engel told us Rachel Powell is neither a danger to her community or a flight risk. She hired counsel to assist her in turning herself into the FBI and to address these charges. It is inconceivable, he said, that she would try to run and leave her children without their mother. Attorney Engel wants his client released from jail immediately, but will have to wait until a detention hearing next Tuesday. He told Powell, who he has not spoken directly with yet, that he will reach out to her this weekend at the very latest Monday. We don't know how long Powell will be here at the prison. We can tell you that it is a holding facility for federal inmates. In Butler County, Amy Marcinkowitz, Channel 11 News.